was born by the roadside in a broken down carriage came into life on the run found on the doorstep of a nearby orphanage no Gonna get set up to weld this thing. Now I'm using a uh, I'm using a cheap Harbor Freight flux core welder to tack this all together. I've got a I got an old uh, Lincoln tombstone welder in the shop, and I've got some long leads so we can weld outside. But if you're gonna use one of those flux core welders, I had a video out quite a while ago on it. This is some pretty thick steel for that little welder, real thick. I have done thick like this before and it's held up, believe it or not, with that little welder. But the only way you're going to get it to work, it doesn't make very pretty welds, but it's perfect for tacking. you got to clean it really well. Any mill scale, anything like that, which this pipe has a pretty good layer of it on there, that has to go. You clean the edge of even your new metal, that has to go. And to really make it work well, you got to preheat the metal. So I've got a B tank here. I'm going to use a number 11. Uh, a11 tip on this. I do have a 14 and I have a 32. The 32 goes through settling really fast out of this B tank so the 11 is kind of a nice happy medium. I've got a 2, a 3, and a 5 as well but 11 is kind of one of my favorite tips for stuff like this. I don't need to get it glowing red but if I can get it you know four to six hundred degrees somewhere in there That'll help me quite a bit in that weld penetrating. So what I want to do though before I get to doing it, I want to get the welder all set up ready to go just so when I want to tack it once I get the heat it's cold out it'll it'll lose that heat pretty quickly. So we're going to get the welder set up and get the helmet ready and we're just going to run with it. Now you do well to have no delusions as far as uh, the quality of these Harbor Freight welders. But I will tell you, it shines for tacking and stuff like that. Like I said, I have welded some pretty decent sized stuff with this thing. And they, they've held up pretty well. In fact, I have an old wood boiler that I built out of a piece of pipe about twice this size in the shop there that I welded all with this little uh, was before I had that stick welder so I welded the whole damn thing with this little tiny uh, flux core. Now you gotta watch the duty cycle on these. The duty cycle is not all that great. So what that means basically you just gotta make sure you're not doing too long of a pass. That's the best way I can put it. This torch runs a little loud and obnoxious, but that's okay. had some terrible welds out of this. <laughs> Not the best welds at all. What the work. 
They'll get us tacked, and that's what matters. Switch stuck. Okay. Like I said, I know we're not going to get real good penetration with those, but it should hold it together so we can tack all this. All right, I want to show you what one of these welds with this cheap welder looks like cleaned up. Now you notice we don't have a ton of penetration there. If you come down to this one, it's not too bad there on the thinner uh, angle iron. But there's not much penetration into this heavy walled pipe. So that's what they look like cleaned up. Here's what it looks like not cleaned up. Definitely does not make the prettiest welds in the world. But once we clean this up, we will... Uh, We'll be finishing this off with 7018. We'll go over the whole thing with that. I probably don't need to weld every single inch of this thing, but I will. Just I don't ever want it coming apart. It's going to be a lot of heat on this, so I don't want any weak welds. We definitely will not be relying on this uh, cheap welder to do this. I just I have this as a tack as a tack machine, and it works very very well for that. I'll tell you what. For a hundred bucks at uh, Harbor Mistake, you know, you can't beat it. Not not for just tacking stuff together. I mean, I wouldn't want to uh, I wouldn't want to do any welding on my vehicle or anything else like that and think it's going to hold, but for what we're doing here, it's absolutely perfect. Now, and there's, uh, oh, let's see. There's another one there. Not very good penetration down into that. Well, here we are. I didn't get out here till about 10 o'clock tonight and get moving uh, to work on this anyway. I've been puttering around on a lot of stuff today, but so we have some legs on it. 
And next time out we're going to work on the frames for the sides. And then we have to make our refractory. And then the burners. You know, this, uh, this is probably a day or two project if you had the time to dedicate to it. So it'll take us a couple days or a few days doing, you know, two or three hours here and there. But So I've got about two and a half hours into this thing tonight. Well, that's not too bad. That, uh, that Harbor Mistake welder, it does all right for what it is. I mean, you get popcorn welds. They're not real pretty. They're not real beautiful, but they'll work. Uh, I decided I decided to do the legs all the way with those just because that metal's thin enough for it. But this here I'm going to have to do with a stick welder. And you'd be amazed at the difference between the bead on this welder and then the bead on a stick welder. It's just there's no comparison. Now, I kind of eyeballed the legs when I threw them on. They're not terrible, but we're going to have to tweak them a little bit. And I will put a cross piece on the bottom just so we can't tip this thing over. I may even put wheels on one end just like a barbecue grill just to uh, just so we can move it around. But this thing is 26 and a half inches long. Uh, Thomas Russell had a pretty good, he had a really good suggestion on this. Do a V-style burner so the, the flames get directed towards the middle right on the piece. And we may try doing that. Really I could probably do three burners on this just fine. So they're going to go in the top, and I may stagger them like what Thomas suggested. That's a pretty good suggestion, so I think we're probably going to do that. But and this is long enough, I'll probably do three, but we'll see. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not quite, uh, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. This is a fun, nice little change of pace, so anyway... We'll see you guys on the next one, and uh, have a good evening. He was born by the roadside in a broken down.